I'm Deborah Kruger. I'm the director of 360 Sochi Quetzal Artist and Writers Residency, and I also have an international art career. I'm here to offer you tips, advice, and my personal experience on topics of interest to artists, writers, and other creatives. The title of this series is The Best and Worst Parts of Being an Artist, and uh, today's video is about what I find hard about being an artist. So uh, being an introvert and being someone who really, really loves making art, all, most of these things fall into the same category. I just would rather be working than doing all of the other things that one has to do to be an artist, but it's just part of the life. And so slowly I have come to accept these things. Um, I really, really don't like constantly having to raise money uh, for my work, for shows, for shipping. Now, the plus is that I am achieving many of my, my uh, career goals, which is showing internationally, but the minus is that the cost of these things is enormous. Making crates, uh, meeting with carpenters, meeting with shippers, bringing the work to the shipper, tracking the work across the ocean. I mean, you might say, I wish I had those problems, and I hope that you do have those problems if those are your goals. But for me, in the end, I would rather just be in my studio working, but I'm just telling you the truth about what's hard about being an artist. I hate being interrupted, and it just seems like in life there's always interruptions. When I was a younger artist, I had my children interrupting me. And now I'm very fortunate to have a team of people helping me, but it means they interrupt me <laughs> and they ask me questions. And sometimes, uh, I usually get this more in the afternoons, but I really long for periods of time, extended periods of time where I can just be alone and work. I find it hard. I find the interruptions hard. Um, and since I prefer to be alone, it's sometimes just hard for me to be with other people. And again, I recognize that that's part of what it takes to be an artist and part of what it takes to be showing at the level that I'm showing now. Um, but just being really honest about it, sometimes um, I just want to crawl into a hole and be alone and not have to you know, have all these conversations. It takes a lot of energy. Um, other things that take me away from my work that are hard, social media that takes a tremendous amount of my time. I've made other videos about this in the Vis Art and Visibility series, so I hope you'll take a look at that. Um, and proposals. Now, writing proposals to, um, you know, for shows, to museums, uh, for grants, it has a plus and a minus to it. Um, the plus is that every time I write, it helps me clarify what my work is about, and I think that's really important. But every time I write, it means I'm not in the studio. So that's the negative side of that. And I think the last thing that's really hard <laughs> is feeling really excited about an idea, like truly like, oh my god, I really, really, that's a great idea, I can't wait to do it. <laughs> and then realizing I'm too tired to execute it. Honestly, I don't remember having this problem when I was younger. Um, it may be a, a feature of, of, a, of being an, an aging artist, and that's another topic that's worthy of discussion. Um, but that's hard sometimes that I don't have uh, in the moment of what it takes. I mean, eventually I get it done, but uh, that's, a, that's a frustrating for me. So I hope that you've appreciated hearing um, my honest uh, inventory of things that are difficult. Um, I want to remind you that I now offer private consultations to artists who might be struggling with any of these or other issues. Um, they're confidential, they're effective, and a place that we can dive deeply into anything that's getting in your way. There is a link below where you can learn about more about that. Um, if this is the first time that you're watching one of my videos, thank you. And it would really help me if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
You can click on notifications. We continue producing videos like this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, there's also a comment section below, and that's a great place to write to me personally and suggest other topics that you'd like me to speak about. I'd really look forward to hearing from you, and, and you'll hear back from me. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, um, and I wish you a very creative day.